welcome fourth standard children i am continuing with your first lesson this is the fifth part of the first lesson now in the last class i explained to you all the grammar that is what is what is a sentence there are four types of sentence statement question exclamatory and command you all have understood i think so then that you'll understand and keep we'll have further exercise to do based on this grammar so you'll understand and keep the next is what worksheet that we have to work in pairs that in classroom only we'll be able to do the next k k is what rearrange these groups of words to make correct sentences and rewrite them in your notebook remember to add capital letters and punctuation marks when needed you know what is punctuation mark comma question mark full stop and capital letter at the beginning now i'll each sentence i'll tell you all you all listen to this video and write it in the notebook the mango trees grown on their own had so how will you write it in the correct way the capital letter t h e the mango trees had grown on their own had grown on their own and full stop at the end now the next one the sun hotter and hotter became that's correct wrong way so you have to correct write the correct way the sun t capital letter the sun became hotter and hotter full stop the third one the branches beautiful mango blossom were covered with so how will you write it correctly with capital letter at the beginning the branches were covered with beautiful mango blossom full stop then the next one where buzzing honey bees honey bees h capital letter honey bees were buzzing full stop became birds flew away and the mangoes so how will you write that the mangoes became birds and flew away the mangoes became birds and flew away full stop how this can be so how will you write it in the correct way how how can be this how can be this question mark at the end and capital letter at the beginning how can this be now the next one listen and speak so this just now i told you we are going to this then listen and speak the next one i last time i read one paragraph on page 47 i hope all have read that lesson and do this in the blanks name of the book rickies bird house so it's a name of the book so you are writing capital letter b how it shows name of the author monica willington is the author the book is about a boy called ricky ricky is a name of a boy always name should be written in capital letter r he loves to watch birds in his garden so he builds a bird house full stop fifth one in spring a pair of blue birds move into the bird house number 6 he has a lot of fun watching the baby birds grow number 7 the book has beautiful pictures and is easy to read and understand number 8 it shows you that bird watching can be fun that's the last one now the next one imagine yourself to be, be the man in the story who's that man the man who came with the sack and the bag to collect the mangoes what did he do he collected all the mangoes did he leave anything 
for the others. No, he was very selfish. He took all the mangoes. He didn't leave anything for the animals. So, what did God do? God gave him a punishment. All the mangoes rolled away from the bat and turned into a oriel bird and flew away. That's a story. Now here they are telling. Imagine you to be the man in the story, and you have to return to the forest and apologize to the tree god. Work with a partner and do a wrong thing. Apologize means we put the ball and tell to the tree god, sorry, I have done a great mistake. So what will you do? Do that. You think and try to do that of your own. Now the next one is. Think and write. That's the last one. Think and write. There's a picture. You don't see a picture here. What all you can see in that picture? Write it in the dash. That you'll do by your own. This picture. And also write a paragraph of five sentences in your notebook using the words you have written. I hope everybody will be able to do this. This picture. Thank you, children. That's all for today. Thank you.